Hey everyone, Chelsea here from A Frugal Homestead. Today we're going to talk about one of my favorite things I've been canning this year, and that is refrigerator pickles. And I know that sounds really weird, but we've had so many cucumbers this year that I don't even know what to do with all of them. My husband and my son love them, and so they eat them. But I have all of these pickles, and I haven't been uber successful on canning them just for my pantry. So I've been doing some research and testing it out and I put together a recipe that is delicious and crisp and salty and dilly and all the wonderful things. And I wanna share that with you today. Now, when it comes to canning pickles, you really wanna start with a good cucumber. And I highly re recommend using pickling cucumbers. They're crisp. They are good tiny, they're good bigger, they're always super yummy. The other thing that I highly suggest is you use really fresh cucumbers. So go out, pick them today, can them today. That's another good point. Now we haven't always been super successful when we were canning pickles in the past, which is why I was hesitant to try again this year with as many cucumbers as we've had. Um, but again, I did a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of research and I've tested out several different um, recipes and I've kind of put together a recipe that I feel like really works for these refrigerator pickles. So the first thing that you're going to do is cut your cucumbers and you can cut them however you want. I am kind of slicing them into wedges. Um, I have also sliced them into hamburger style pickles, so slicing them into the rounds. I've also um, sliced them like sandwich pickles, so long, thick pieces. Um, and I have left them as whole pickles. So if I had small enough um, canning pickles, then I, um, I just use those small pickles. I also found that I really like using the two quart jars versus a one quart, quart jar. My mother-in-law gave me these big two quart jars and they're really great for refrigerator pickles. Now comes the fun part. And this is where you can pick what you put into your pickles. Now I'm gonna tell you what I put in mine, but it's up to you. So I like to start with garlic, I will crush uh, about two or three cloves and put those into my jar. Some people say put them on the bottom before you put your pickles, it doesn't really matter. Then dill, now I ran out of fresh dill so I'm just using dill seed. You can use fresh dill, which I suggest. And then I'm using a pickling season seasoning, I'm putting about a tablespoon of that in there. And then I usually will put some peppercorns, whole peppercorns as well. And then you have your brine. And for my recipe, I use one cup of vinegar, white vinegar, one cup of water, one tablespoon of canning salt, and then just a little bit less, maybe two teaspoons of sugar. I don't do a full tablespoon of sugar. A lot of people do, but they are too sweet for us that way. And we do not like bread and butter pickles. So you're gonna fill your jar with your brine along with your seasonings. You're gonna twist the top on and then I like to give it a little shake. And then now you just put the jar in your refrigerator and you're gonna have pickles all winter long without having to can them.